Tomorrow, voters across the country are heading to the polls in perhaps the most watchly, closely watched race in the battle uh, is in Virginia for governor. Republican Ed Gillespie is trying to score a major upset over Democrat Ralph Northam. And he joins us now from Alexandria. Now that I got the marbles out of my mouth, Ed Gillespie, great to see you. Uh, this is a this is a contest that has kind of gone both directions. It's tightened up in recent days. You're ahead in a bunch of polls, narrowly ahead. Tell us what you're going to do to make the lives of the average Virginians better when you're governor. Well, first of all, I'm going to increase job creation by 25 percent, and I have a plan to cut our individual income tax rates by 10 percent across the board, Laura. That has not been done since those tax rates were set in 1972, 45 years ago. And we need those jobs. We need that opportunity. We're stuck here in Virginia. Our economic growth rate right now is 0.6 percent, and we're 39th out of 50 states in economic growth. Virginia. And I truly believe that when it comes to economic growth and job creation, Virginia should be first in the country. And we can be with the right policies, but we don't have those policies now. And the only way we get them is by winning this election tomorrow. And I'm confident we're going to. I can feel the momentum everywhere we're going. And I've been everywhere over the course of the past, well, certainly the past year, but just in the past week. And I can tell you the crowds have been great and the enthusiasm and energy and intensity is all on our side right now. And Ed, when you uh, look at the landscape right now, just the among the electorate, there's a lot of anger out there, a lot of a lot of fight in the people for a lot of reasons. How does the a governor deal with that? I mean, you, you have the establishment GOP, you have the populace, you have the the left, and they have their own problems. How do you deal with it? The anger. Well, Laura, I, I deal with it by putting forward policies that I know will be good for all Virginians. And I've got 21 specific detailed policy proposals on my website, edforvirginia.com, that I know will increase job creation here. I know will improve our schools. I know that they'll ease traffic congestion so that we can get home in time for dinner with our families. I know that they will make our communities safer, address the awful opioid and heroin epidemic we're dealing with here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And I find that as I talk to my fellow Virginians and I talk about policies and the concerns they have and my solutions to them, yeah. you can talk to everybody about that. And I take my campaign to every corner of the Commonwealth and to every voter in Virginia. All and right. I'm well received everywhere because they want to know, what are you for? How are you going to make our life better? And uh, Ed, I really appreciate your joining us on the eve of the campaign. You didn't campaign with Donald Trump. But uh, Republicans, I think, are uni uniting and unifying, and we really look forward to reporting this race tomorrow. So thanks so much. And up next, well, the, Bush be, uh, family, uh, the Bush family, the Bush family, 